Hello friends. Today let us solve the multiple choice questions based on the topic Pythagoras theorem from class 10th maths part 2. We know the Pythagoras theorem by using the Pythagoras theorem and various concepts in that topic we have to solve some questions which are multiple choice questions. So let's start with the first question. The question is some questions and their alternative answers are given. Select the correct alternative. The first question is out of the following which is the Pythagorean triplet. Four alternatives are given A, B, C and D and in the each alternative we have the group of three numbers and we have to decide which of these is a Pythagorean triplet. Now to solve this question we must use the concept of a Pythagorean triplet. We know that if three numbers are given and amongst those three numbers if the square of the largest number is equal to the sum of squares of remaining two numbers then the group of numbers is called as a Pythagorean triplet. So we have to check out of these four which is the Pythagorean triplet. So let's start with the first one. In the first option we have the numbers 1, 5 and 10. 10 is the largest number so we should make it square. So 10 square is 100 and the remaining two numbers are 1 and 5. So if we make a square of 1 and if we add it to square of 5 that is 1 square plus 5 square we know that 1 square is 1 plus 5 square is 25. So 1 plus 25 that's 26. So as we can observe here, the square of the largest term is not equal to sum of the squares of the remaining two terms. That's why the first is not a Pythagorean triplet. Let's check it out for the second group 3, 4 and 5 out of which the largest number is 5. So we should make it square. 5 square is 25. The remaining two numbers are 3 and 4. So we should have 3 square plus 4 square. So 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16. So 9 plus 16 that's 25. So here we get in both the cases the number 25 that means we have here 5 square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. That means the largest number square is equal to sum of squares of remaining two numbers that's why the second alternative is a Pythagorean triplet so the correct alternative is option B 3 4 and 5 is a Pythagorean triplet now as we have got our answer we need not to check the remaining two C and D because the answer of this question is option B let us have the next question in a right angle triangle if the sum of the squares of the sides making right angle is 169 then what is the length of the hypotenuse 15 13 5 or 12 now to solve this let us have a diagram so let us have this right angle triangle we'll name it as triangle a b c where angle b is 90 degree and in this question it is given that sum of squares of the sides making the right angles so in this diagram the sides making the right angles are AB and BC. So AB square plus BC square that's given that is equal to 169 and from that we have to find the hypotenuse. Now in this diagram if we apply the Pythagoras theorem then by that we can have hypotenuse square that is AC square is equal to the remaining two sides square that is AB square plus BC square. So this can be written by using a Pythagoras theorem here AC is the hypotenuse. Now AB square plus BC square that is the squares of the sides making the right angle is given that's 169. So if we replace here AB square plus BC square by 169 we get AC square is equal to 169 and now if we take square root on both these sides we get AC is equal to 13. So here so the length of the hypotenuse is 13 which is given at option B that's why option B is the correct alternative so the length of the hypotenuse is 13 let's have the next question out of the dates given below which dates constitutes a Pythagorean triplet so amongst these four dates as this is a date given three numbers are involved in it again we have to check each of these whether it is a Pythagorean triplet or not. So let's start with the first triplet. Amongst 15, 8 and 17, 17 is 
the largest number so 17 square is 289 now we have to check whether the sum of squares of 15 and 8 is 289 or not so for that we have to do 15 square plus 8 square so 15 square is 225 plus 8 square is 64 so if we add this we get 289 so as we can observe the square of the largest term is equal to the sum of squares of remaining two sides that's why 17 15 and 8 this forms a pythagorean triplet so we have got our answer that is option a is a pythagorean triplet so we need not to check b c and d as we have got our answer next question is if a b c are sides of a triangle and if a square plus b square is equal to c square name the type of a triangle now if a b and c are the lengths of a triangle given and square of any one side is equal to sum of squares of remaining two sides then that must be a right angle triangle suppose this is a triangle with sides a b and c with this a 90 degree with this angle a 90 degree so here if this is the case then we know that that triangle must be a right angle triangle so the correct alternative amongst these is a right angle triangle which is at option c so option c is the correct alternative next question is find the perimeter of a square if its diagonal is 10 root 2 centimeter so the four options are given over here we have to find the perimeter of a square and for that we need a side of a square so to have a side of a square we have the relation between a diagonal of a square and side of a square that is diagonal of a square is equal to root 2 into side of a square so we have to use this relation to find the side of a square now in this case diagonal is given so under diagonal of a square we should write 10 root 2 because the diagonal of a square is 10 root 2 given that is equal to root 2 into side we have to find the side so root 2 on both the sides will get cancelled to have side of the square 10 centimeter now as we have the side of a square now we can find the perimeter of that square as the perimeter of a square is 4 into side so this is the formula for perimeter of a square so 4 into side is 10 we have just found so 10 into 4 that's 40 centimeter so this is the perimeter of a square which is given at option d that's why option d is the correct alternative that is the perimeter of that square is 40 centimeter next question is altitude on the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle divides it in two parts of length 4 cm and 9 cm find the length of the altitude four options are given 9 4 6 or 2 root 6 cm now to solve this first of all we should have a diagram we have to draw a diagram according to the information given as there is one right angle triangle is given let us name that triangle as triangle abc where angle b is 90 degree it is given that altitude on the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle divides it in two parts so this is a right angle triangle and ac is the hypotenuse so we have to draw the altitude from vertex b on the hypotenuse so let it be bd bd is the altitude now it is given that this altitude divides the hypotenuse in two parts of lengths 4 and 9 so let ad be 4 and dc be 9 and from this we have to find the altitude that is we have to find the length of bd now here we have to use the geometric mean property or the geometric mean theorem which we have studied in the topic similarity that is if we draw a perpendicular on the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle then that perpendicular is the geometric mean of two segments into which the hypotenuse is divided that means 
BD is the geometric mean of AD and DC. So as it is a geometric mean, we can write BD square is equal to AD into DC. Now here AD is 4 into DC is 9. So we have 4 into 9 that's 36. That is equal to BD square. We want the length of altitude that is we want BD. So if we take square root on both the sides, we get BD is equal to square root of 36 is 6. So 6 centimeter is the length of altitude which is given at option C. So option C is the correct alternative. Next question is height and base of right angle triangle are 24 centimeter and 18 centimeter. Find the length of the hypotenuse. Again four alternatives are given. Again we have to draw a diagram in which a right angle triangle is given. So let us name this right angle triangle as triangle PQR where angle Q is 90 degree. Height and the base of right angle triangle are 24 and 18 centimeter. So let the base QR be 18 centimeter and the height which is a perpendicular drawn on the base is 24. And from this we have to find the hypotenuse. So as this is a right angle triangle in that we can use the Pythagoras theorem and by that we can write the hypotenuse square. So hypotenuse is PR. So PR square is equal to the sum of squares of remaining two sides. That is PQ square plus QR square. Now only we have to substitute the values in these two. So PQ we have assumed to be 24. That's square plus QR is 18 as it is a base. 24 square is 576 plus 18 square that is 324. So if we add these two, we get 900 that is equal to PR square. If we take square root on both the sides, we get PR is equal to square root of 900 is 30 centimeter. So this is the length of the hypotenuse which is given at option B. So option B is the correct alternative. And the next question is in triangle ABC the length of AB is 6 root 3 cm, AC is 12 cm, BC is 6 cm. Find the measure of angle A. Options are 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree or 45 degree. Now here we have to use the relation between the sides and angles of a triangle. So for a triangle, the lengths of three sides are given and from that we have to find the measure of angle A. So let us have the diagram. Suppose this is a triangle A, B and C. Now let us assume that this is a right angle triangle. So if it is a right angle triangle, let us have angle B 90 degree. The length of AB it is given to be 6 root 3 centimeter. AC is given to be 12 and BC is given to be 6. Now here we have taken angle B which is a right angle triangle which is quite correct because amongst these three lengths 6, 6 root 3 and 12, 12 is the largest side. So if it is a right angle triangle then 12 must be the hypotenuse. Now only we have to decide whether it is a uh, 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle or not. Now here we have to use the property of 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree triangle property. And by that we know that if for a triangle the measures of angles are 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree, then the side opposite to 30 degree is half of the hypotenuse and side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse. So this is the property we have to use to solve this question. So here we have assumed that AC is 12 and BC is 6. So as we can observe 6 is half of 12. That means here we can write BC is equal to half of AC. And when does this happen? If BC is side opposite to 30 degree, then only BC must be equal to half of AC. And in this case, we can see that 6 is half of 12 that means BC is half of AC so BC must be the side opposite to 30 degree or on the other hand we can say that angle opposite to BC must be 30 degree 
and as we can see in the diagram angle opposite to bc is a so that must be 30 degree so from this one by the converse of 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree triangle angle a must be equal to 30 degree and that is the question we have to find the measure of angle a so measure of angle a is 30 degree which is at option a so alternative a is the correct alternative so this is how we can solve some examples based on the pythagoras theorem and various properties which are there in that topic i hope you understand these examples thanks for watching